Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. This is a little delayed market outlook. We're up a little bit late on the market outlook today because of some internet issues on the Foot Accountant side of things. But we are here, and honestly, I'm glad that it's a little bit late because EA dropped a madness today on Monday. We have all of the upgrade packs out for a week inside of the menus. EA has put out the upgrade packs, boys. Now it is grind time. Now, I know a lot of you guys might not be doing upgrade packs right away, um, but they did put all the upgrade packs out. And actually, it is at 2.30 p.m. or 7.30 p.m. UK in just a minute. So we're going to check and see if they add any new content at the, the new, quote-unquote, new drop time. But uh, I want to talk about what's happening on the market right now because there are a lot of Premier League gold cards that are dropping because these SBCs have dropped. People are spamming those upgrade packs because... Um, they're trying to pack Bruno, they're trying to pack KDB, and people are honestly just starting to build upgrade packs for when the full team is released. Let's see if we got any other SBCs today. There's an 84 player pick that's been there. The Premier League upgrade, yes. Uh, 83 plus midfielder upgrade. Okay, that is what we were expecting right there. And then a, I think that is it. I think that is it. Yeah, here's all the upgrades. And the best thing is, again, is that they are just requiring rares australia day set as well for uh on content today um but it looks like they're just requiring rares right and there's the premium upgrade which is the 25k pack of all players inside of that league and then there's the lower tier upgrade which is the just the regular upgrade which gives you a three players pack with one of those players being rare so if you're crafting upgrades right if you are buying rares to put into upgrade packs in my opinion the best grind to do is to do the Premier League upgrades and then craft, so to speak, the lower tier, right? So you, you craft the premium PL upgrade pack, then you use your duplicate non-rares and the non-rares that you pack into the Premier League upgrade. And you're gonna have tons and tons of packs. I'm serious, it's gonna be so freaking awesome to just grind these. It's gonna be so fun to try these out and to be spamming these over the next week because these packs are out for one week and that tells me that team of the year is going to be over uh, a day, a week from today. I think it's going to end on Monday because if the upgrade packs are expiring then, then why would the team still be in packs? So it looks like the full team is going to be in packs either Thursday or Friday through the entirety of the weekend until Monday at 6 p.m. UK. So that's kind of how I think the schedule will run. So the full team will be on, only be in packs for about four days over the weekend, which is interesting but it is what it is. So if you guys are already grinding packs, GG's, I've seen people uh, post pictures already of uh, packs containing Bruno. I've seen pictures containing um, De Bruyne, and it looks like some of their prices are dropping a little bit. I don't think there were lightning rounds today, but of course with those packs coming out, it looks like those, those prices have dropped a little bit as people's focuses switch from on the market to inside of the game. Now that's one thing I wanna focus on though, because right now, People are opening a lot of upgrade packs and there's not a lot of eyes on the market because take a look at this, right? Conte, 179,000 coins at the moment. Uh, that's a bit of an undercut actually, but this guy was literally, I think he was 190 this morning. He was 190. So he's down about 10K, right? He's down about 10,000 coins. Rashford's down almost like 9,000 coins. Varane is down. So what I would say is, especially some of these cards, um, on the game that are Premier League cards. Most people are probably spamming the Premier League packs right now and across the market as a whole, right? This Kessie was 480K this morning. Um, I'm also seeing a card that was low. This Ben Yedder is getting upgraded most likely with team, or not, sorry, not, not with team of the week. He's getting a plus one streak to an 89. This card is down low again. This Keelan was over 300K this morning. So right now, as you're watching everybody go out and spam upgrade packs, one thing that you might wanna do is honestly just take a, a look at the market as a whole and some stuff might be down because people are focused on these upgrades which might be an opportunity to get in on some stuff but the market as a whole is still very very high because again people have a lot of coins and yes these cards coming out is going to drain or these upgrade SBCs coming out is going to drain some coins off of the market but overall a lot of these guys are still uh very high in price bernardo silva uh 535 that's down right that might be flippable uh from where he was earlier um, and even in the team of the week, right? 
I bet Ndombele is down right now because a lot of people are probably packing him. So he's down a couple thousand coins. You know, you're probably packing a lot of Ogbonna, a lot of Tielemans, some John Stones if you're running the Premier League packs. Pogba's 492, Ben Yedder's 400k. So it might be a day today where we see some of these, at least the current Team of the Week cards since they go out of packs on Wednesday. Might kind of be interesting for some of these guys. Um, you know, maybe some of them as, I guess you could say, out of pack investments like this Ajorke at 14,000 coins. I think that that is a pretty solid a pretty solid W in terms of an investment, right? Because out of packs informs for SBC fodder purposes have been working really well this year so far. Even the stuff that's been out of packs the last couple of weeks has gone up, right? You see 84 informs going from, you know, 15 14 15,000 coins all the way up to 20 22k. When we had a lot of SBCs in the past week, I expect more SBCs to be released throughout this week and into the next. Uh, and as people have coins and they have cards in their club from doing upgrade packs, from opening regular packs, I think you will see a lot of this SBC fodder on the inform side and on the regular, um, just the SBC fodder market rise after team of the year. Now, I do think one of the things we're going to see this week, and this is what I wanted to talk about, was some of the like... SBC fodder cards in this game, I think you're going to see a lot of supply for these guys again on Thursday. When I expect a full team to be in packs, I would also expect a lot of supply, kind of like how we had on Friday with all of the saved up packs being opened and lightning rounds on top of that. I would expect to see a lot of these cards get packed, get supplied. There's going to be great potential and great opportunity for open bids and doing a club stock because again, you're going to have most of that supply happen when everybody's opening those saved up packs, which I think there's still a lot of people that have saved packs and they'll be opening them on Thursday. So definitely watch out for that on the SBC fodder side of things. That's going to be an opportunity to get into a club stock, especially if you're going to be ripping upgrade packs and doing other SBCs like or crafting like Ribéry or Dybala or a base mid upgrade, it's going to be a perfect opportunity to club stock, get some high rates in your club before they start to go up uh, from that point on when there's more SBCs out. So expect a drop on those then. And also that leads me to kind of think about what's going to happen to these team of the year cards, um, which by the way, have they added that design yet? And they have not. EA, we need to add that design into your game, which they have not done yet. But let's look at KDB right now. It looks like he's 2.5, 2.6 mil on the market, if I can get my filters correct. But I also think that these team of the year cards, right before they go into packs on Thursday, the whole team, I do think that you will see a lot of undercutting Wednesday night, Thursday. I know defenders will be in packs. They're probably going to get supplied from a little bit of packs that will be opened Wednesday night, Thursday morning with rewards. And then you'll see these guys drop into 6 p.m. on Thursday as well because what's going to happen is everybody that has these team of the year cards in their club, they're going to be told that these guys are going to drop, right? They're going to be told these guys are going to drop heading into Thursday because they're going to get supplied, which yes, they are going to get supplied. But for some of these cards, especially in like a 98 Ronaldo, the Mbappe, I would really watch and see how big that drop off is because I think these cards still have potential to drop off a lot more. Like, I think this Kimmich card should be somewhere around like the 1.5 mil range. I feel like Lewandowski should be around the 2 mil range. So I think these cards still have a lot of room to drop, but we'll see how much of that is just selling before the packs are opened and then how much of that drop is with supply. So definitely keep an eye on these team of the years if it's something you want to buy for your team. But for the rest of the market as well, after Thursday, right, we're going to have to almost treat Thursday as like a Friday, right? Because Thursday is another big day where people are going to start ripping packs. They're going to start uh, opening up their safe packs, and it's going to be after weekend league rewards as well. So we're going to have to see if there's panic on the rest of the out-of-packs market on Thursday, and that would be a huge potential buy point as I got a couple of sales here. Let's go, GG's. Um, that'd be a huge potential buy point for the, the upcoming weekend league, right? Now, I've been looking at a lot of icons because this market, again, as we've mentioned, is very high, but that's also made it very, very good to trade in because people have coins and people are willing to spend those coins to try cards out, right? You take a look at my transfer list where I've been trading a lot in the past day or so. Um, I bought this Raul at one mil flat. I bought the Schweinsteiger at 1.2. This was at this was actually a tax break even because I forgot that this guy is down a little bit from weekend league. I thought he was still 17 plus. 
Uh, I bought this at 848. I bought this at 975. I sold my Teo Hernandez too early because I bought that at four, 549. He's back over 600K. And then one move that I made on, and I wanted to talk about this, one move that I made on Saturday night, Ryan Kent's inform, right? The original super sub rat from last year in FIFA 20. Um, this guy's card was like 20K ever since he's been in packs. He scored one goal on their Saturday game. They won 5 0. He scored one goal and wasn't even man of the match. But I think people started selling this card and, and undercutting it because they thought he might get a second inform. Or for some reason, this guy's card went from 20K all the way down to 12,000 coins. I bought 36 Ryan Kent's at. Um, at uh, 12 to 13,000 coins and sold them all for 20K uh, because he bounced right back up because there was literally no reason why he should have been that low, especially being the hyped up card that he is. So by the way, if you want to trade with this card, he sells for lazy buyers like insane. His price, if you, if I would go look at Kent on the market right now, his price is literally not 20,000 coins, but for some reason, he sells like mad to lazy buyers. And I think there's literally just so much demand for people wanting to sweat it out in weekend league. Check, check this out. I'm looking at 17K and there's pages of him, right? So he sells it for lazy buyers at 20K, which is kind of crazy. But um, if this guy's back down to like the, you know, 14, 15K range even, like I would buy those, just list them at 20. And especially with a weekend league coming up, that's a huge potential little flip you could do there um, with that Kent card. So that was just something that I noted from today and from the weekend. But uh, it's going to be a crazy week, right? Especially now it feels like there's hype. It feels like there's hype for team of the year. Um, also, you saw those Carlos Velas on my transfer list. These are just cards. I thought this card was very low this morning. Uh, I bought these all at around 110 or below, and he was like 150, 160 on the weekend. Um, he might even be a little bit lower now. He was about around 120, and I was finding some undercuts and open bids, but this is just a very, very rare card. People like to link him with that Dos Santos SBC. Uh, yeah, it looks like he's still 115 to 110. So I'm going to try to snag a few more of these on bid because I honestly think he's so rare that he's going to keep going up this weekend uh, for the weekend league. And of course, I still have my headliner Benzema. I bought this at 169, and he's getting into team league predictions. So I'm going to continue to list him up as a lazy as he rises until his potential upgrade on Wednesday. But again, this week, the market's very high, right? We're going to have to look for potential opportunities when EA drops SBC content. We did have, we had the Dybala SBC, which was good value, right? The Dybala is good value, I think. This is a really good looking card. And one thing I wanted to talk about as well is, so we've had two Serie A SBCs in a row, Franck Ribéry, Paulo Dybala. I wonder if this is what EA is planning to do with, with this. Remember a couple months ago, I think it was like more of November time frame, when Renato Sanchez, of course, was coming onto the scene, very OP, very meta card. A lot of people were using League One players, right? And EA started releasing League One SBCs. We had a couple flashbacks. We had the Malay objective uh, Valen center back card. And they started releasing a lot of League One players, right? I wonder if they are now transitioning towards Serie A and they're going to kind of release more Serie A SBCs because now, of course, as we look at the most popular page on Footbin, you see a lot of the Serie A market is incredibly, incredibly high. Lautaro, this guy's up over 100,000 coins. Chiellini is up 100,000 coins. This Gomez is up. A lot of your Serie A cards in the market are up because people are doing Dybala, right? They're putting them in their team they're doing this SBC because it's it's pretty good value, right? Except for the weak foot. Again, this is one thing that you can tell. This is one reason or two reasons here. There's two things that you can tell when a card is super hyped up as an SBC. Number one, 9,000 upvotes on Footbin. That's a crazy amount of upvotes, right? We call this a hype check on the Twitch live streams when we're doing this live. 9,000 upvotes. And one thing to note it is as well, the second thing is that the link investments to this Dybala are not just going up because people are investing in them. They've gone up and they've stayed up, right? Lautaro is still 400,000 coins. Uh, you know, one card that I look at on the stream all the time, Kula Bali's Road to the Final was like 500K this past weekend. Didn't really rise up too much during the weekend league. Maybe went to like 540, 550. I'm pretty sure he is well over 600,000 coins right now um, because people are starting to look at Serie A cards, build some links together for Serie A. So this guy's up to 600K, right? Up 100,000 coins purely based off of an one SBC that doesn't even link to this card, 
but just the fact that it's Serie A is drawing some hype to him. So I wonder if that league is getting a bit of attention right now and if it's going to continue to get the attention like um, like League One did earlier this fall. So again, some of you guys have been asking about panic selling. Do I expect more panic selling this week? Not necessarily. It would all depend on an SBC that EA would drop, right? If they, if they drop a Conte flashback, um, I don't know if we'll get a De Young flashback because De Young is looking like he might be in team of the week this week. So I doubt that we will see one of those um, in the game. But, um, you know, I guess that could still happen per se. Uh, you know, a flashback center back card. I feel like we're due a defender and a midfielder flashback or some sort of player moments SBC and since, since we have had Ribéry and um, Dybala. And of course, we have the midfielders out in packs right now and we will, will have the defenders in packs tomorrow on Tuesday. So that's kind of one thing we're looking out for. But the market, again, is very high. It's great to trade. That's why I'm looking at icons, right? Because these guys fluctuate and people have the coins to mess around with them and try cards out if they want to. So... You know, I mean, I've seen a lot of icon bids go on really, really good deals as well. Like, um, not necessarily any position or any specific cards, but just deals on undercuts at the 59th a little bit. Of course, I'm kind of watching it today. I'm going to keep an eye on the icon market as um, people are doing these upgrade packs and seeing if I can find any deals because people are focused on the packs rather than maybe some of the markets. So we'll keep an eye on this for sure. But that's kind of the market outlook for this week, boys. Market's going to be high. There's going to be cards that fluctuate a lot because people have coins. And when people have coins, they're not afraid to buy. And of course, people are now going to be sinking some coins into upgrade packs, hopefully packing some team of the year. So good luck if you're doing that. Let me check what rares are up to really fast. What are gold rares going for at the moment? I'll just check by league because people like to buy prem rares. Um, how much are these guys going for? So instantly being bought up at 850 coins. Actually, it's probably better to check on bid. To see where these guys are going uh no bid at 850 are these are these really gonna slide through at like 750 coins let me let me like keep an eye on some of these really fast i doubt they all slide through at 700 650 which is crazy if, if these are actually sliding through at 650 coins that's actually ridiculous um so if these guys are still 650k man i would go nuts like i know the the cards the whole team is not out in packs right now but if you can win these on 650, literally just start building packs because as more and more people are going to be uh, opening the packs when the full team is out, if you would spend your coins now to get ready and prepared for that, you would definitely have an advantage. So it looks like I'm about to win this Ben Davies for 750 and I am not going to win that Jaka. So it looks like maybe 750 for these cards. 650 to, or 700 to 750 coins for these is honestly not bad because you know when the full team comes out you might have people paying more around the range of a thousand coins and especially people that now see the upgrades are out that invested in gold rares um they might be listing their cards up right now which would also be supplying the market um instead of making these gold rares rise so there's not as much demand for the spc packs yet i would say except it is a w the ea has put out, put them out this early so that people can get ready right you can start sinking your coins in them and get ready um to open a lot of them when the full team is released, looks like on Thursday. So if you guys enjoy this Market Outlook video, make sure you hit the thumbs up on it. Of course, drop your questions down below and of course, subscribe if you are new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.